Hey everybody, I'm in a bit of a tough situation because I need to cook. Pick up the phone, Nancy. Only I don't know how. Ollie says you blew off cooking dinner. You can't do that, Nancy. Now go to the kitchen and stay there until you've made my guests the best meal they've ever had in their lives. Okay. One more thing. Ask Yanni if it would be alright if I used his name and picture on the Icicle Creek Lodge website. I mean, when I finally have a website, it would be great publicity, okay? Sure. Good. Talk to you soon. You see, the game automatically skips ahead to cooking breakfast, and I can't cook breakfast. French toast and Canadian bacon. Actually, I think here in Canada, they just call it bacon. Anyway, the thing which is really difficult are the omelets. I don't know how to cook omelets. Okay, let's wait for the bacon to cook. Come on, bacon. Bacon, come on. There we go. So the omelet needs two spinach, one cheese. I can do this. Two spinach. One cheese. One green peppers and one olives. Olives, green peppers. This is where I get stuck. This is where I get stuck. I need two things of bacon, but I don't know how to put bacon inside an omelet. I pick up the bacon, I try to put it inside, but it doesn't work. Let's say I cook the bacon. I can't put cooked bacon inside the omelet. I don't know how to put bacon inside the omelet. It's, it's craziness, I tell you. Yeah, yeah, uh, why is the bacon not going in the omelet? And when I try to pick it up and have it cook, I still can't put the bacon on the omelet here. And when I do this, when I do this... Do this over. Do it right this time. The game won't accept it because I don't put bacon inside the omelet. I'm stuck because I have no idea what to do. So to get around this problem, I waited until 8.15. That's when breakfast is over. And then I triggered the sequence where they automatically send you ahead to the next meal. Hey, Nancy. on you to cook all the meals all the time, not just when you feel like it. So go to the kitchen right now, cook the next meal, and don't skip any more. Got that? Okay. One more thing. Ask Yanni if it would be alright if I used his name and picture on the Icicle Creek Lodge website. I mean, when I finally have a website, it would be great publicity, okay? Sure. Good. Talk to you soon. So now the game skips ahead to lunch, which is the meal that I can actually cook. And I'm going to skip ahead to when I'm finished making lunch. Alrighty, so here we go. That's it for cooking lunch. And now I think I should go downstairs and talk to the people there. Uh. I'm glad for the chance to talk once again. There is something I must explain. Oh, what's this? There is? What I said before, about wolves. It is because my grandmother was killed by wolves. Killed and devoured. Oh my! Are you serious? Years ago, when my mother was a little girl, her mother, my grandmother, was on her way back from the village on her motor scooter which was, and still is, the only means of transportation most Fredonians can afford. It was January, and the sun had just set, and it was dark, very cold. There were thousands of wolves in the countryside that winter. At night they would roam in huge, hungry packs. My grandmother was halfway home when she came upon a young man, waving from the side of the road for her to stop. He, too, had been on a scooter, but his had broken down, and wolves were gathering all around him, preparing to attack. My grandmother, of course, stopped, and he leapt on behind her, and they took off down the road with the wolves, dozens of them, chasing after them. 
But with two people riding it, her scooter was slow, much too slow, and the wolves soon caught up with them. And when one of the wolves seized my grandmother's boot in its teeth and started to pull, instead of helping her, the man pushed her off the bike. It instantly gained speed and he got away. My grandmother, set upon by the wolves, did not. I have to say, this is the first time I have ever heard of somebody dying in a scooter-related accident that involved wolves. That's terrible. Tormented by guilt, the young man eventually confessed. He went to prison for several years, and the wolves were hunted year-round until the countryside was rid of them. But the damage was done. And so, I'm happy to talk to you about any subject except wolves. About them, I have nothing to say. Ever see Lou Talbot when you're out there training? The college student? Just yesterday I had to slow down to avoid colliding with him. It ruined my whole session. Chantal would like to use your name and picture on her website when she gets it up and running. Would that be okay? I am sorry, but no. Oh, well, so much for that. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. It has been a pleasure. All right, so I think we are really supposed to talk to Ollie. After we call the Avalanche Patrol, we have to relay their message back to Ollie. Oh, before I forget, Chantal called. Told me I can answer any questions you might have about those accidents after all. Guess she changed her mind. The Avalanche Patrol asked me to tell you that the explosives training session in Calgary has been postponed till next month. Well, hallelujah. I didn't really want to go anywhere until I finished off that wolf. Now I won't have to. I think you were right about the wolf not being normal. Of course I'm right. Dang, I just remembered. Patrol wants me to keep an eye on Skookum Ridge for the next couple of weeks. Here. There's the key to the snowmobile. Take it out to Skookum Ridge and see if there's been an avalanche. You want me to check it out? Seat seated so you don't have to worry about the cold. Make sure you call the patrol and give them a report when you're done. You can handle that, can't you? You bet. Good. Alrighty. We're gonna go snowmobiling. Two more things. That Bill Kessler guy's getting bored being the only one around here doing any ice fishing. He wants competition. So if he says anything to you, just remember that Chantal wants you to keep the guests we got happy. Other thing is, cold snap's on its way. You think it's cold now? Just wait. Gotta be real careful any time you're outside. So, we done here? No, we're not done. We're not done. How do you explain what happened to Carl Jenkins, the former guest who slipped on the stairs and broke his leg? Can't explain it. One minute those stairs were clear and dry, next minute they're slick with ice and he's lying at the bottom of them. You're positive they were clear and dry? Yep. Chipped every bit of frozen snow off of them myself. You ask me, somebody iced those stairs down on purpose. Because it wasn't nothing I did, no sir. No sir. I'd better get back upstairs. If you need anything, just holler. Alright, so he said two important things in that conversation. First, we need to go snowmobiling, and second, we have to go ice fishing to keep Bill Kessler happy. Let's go snowmobiling first. Oh, and he also said it's getting cold, which I guess means we should fight the snow princess. Alrighty. I think you need to fight her a couple of times, and then she's going to leave Nancy a note. There's no place to surrender for now. Yeah, you need to fight her a couple of times. I think that's what you have to do. I, I'm just trying to do what I think we have to do. And then she's going to leave Nancy a note which uh, tells us how to stay warm during the cold front, which Ollie said is going to occur. Now let's go snowmobile driving. Alrighty, driving the snowmobile. Let's see how this works. Okay, you just click, and Nancy will drive in the direction you click. Okay, whoa. 
try not to hit anything. And the arrow is telling us that we want to go up. Oh, oh, okay, okay, that wasn't so good. <laughs> really? Really? That's the sound that hitting a snowman makes? Where's another snowman? I want to hear that sound again. That was somewhat amusing. Oh, here we are! The sign's not buried, so I guess there hasn't been an avalanche. Alrighty, so because there was no avalanche, we are just going to go back and tell the people there has been no avalanche. Oh, that's just too funny. Now try not to hit too many things because I'm pretty sure you get a game over sequence if you crash the snowmobile. Yeah, sort of like that. Not only crashed it, I pretty much trashed it. I didn't mean to, but I guess I zigged when I should have zagged. My insurance company's not going to like this one bit. For what it's worth, I'm not exactly thrilled about it either. Well, Nancy, can you guess what I'm about to say to you? Good job. Don't let it happen again. You're fired. Yeah, that was my second guess. Wow, that wasn't even on my list of guesses. The sign's not buried, so I guess there hasn't been an avalanche. All right, okay, let's try that again. I guess you're supposed to go really slowly through this area. Yes, yes. Man, this is a tough challenge. And here we are back at the Icicle Creek Lodge. So let's see if we do have a letter from Freddy. Ah, much better. I was really cold. No letter from Freddy, huh? 